Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you're new. I have just got done doing all of my decals for the day. I've spent all day working on decals, and I am currently packaging all of them up, getting them ready for shipment in the morning. And I realized that I have not shared with y'all how I package my really big decals. I know that I did a previous video on how I package decals of all sizes, but I was out of the boxes that I used for the large decals in that video, so I knew that I would eventually make a video on this. So I figured since I'm packaging these up and I have two decals that I need to ship out that are longer and bigger, I figured I would just share with y'all how I do that process. So I have one order of these two names um, and they're 18 inches long. So I've been doing it this way for a while now and it's been great. So I just figured I would share that with y'all today. So if you want to know how I package my larger decals, then just keep on watching. So these are some of the decals that I've been working on today. Lots of multi-layer. I love, I'm, so a lot of these are newer that I've been offering. I absolutely love the colors and stuff of how the multi-layer are looking. Um, I'm getting everything out and kind of looking over everything one last time before I package them up. And this is the large order that we'll be packaging up today. So yeah, I'll go ahead and get all my materials out and we will get those packaged up. All right, so everything that I use to package up these larger decals is right here. So I just have my two names along with the um, invoice and then I put a little handwritten thank you note on it. I put that inside of these clear cello bags and it's self-sealing, so those are really good to have. And along with that, I use my Dymo printer and I include instructions on how to apply the vinyl decal. And then inside of that bag, I will also include um, one of these cards, these PVC cards. And I'll have my um, business name on it and my information. And then two alcohol prep pads. And the reason I'm including two is because she got two really large decals. So just in case she needs extra, I will include that in there. And then to tie it all together, I put them inside of this box. And I get these on Amazon as well. And the size is 14 by 6 by 4. And I will link all of these down below so you guys can find the exact things that I use. But that is literally as simple as it gets, guys. So now I will go ahead and show you how I roll these up and put them inside of the cello bags. So when you get the boxes, they're flat like this and they're really easy to make. You just straighten them out. And then get your tape gun. most cringy sound you've ever heard in your life oh my goodness okay so that's how the box looks when it's done so now I'm gonna go ahead and get my names make sure everything looks good I always kind of proof it one more time and make sure everything looks good before I ship them out again okay so I'm gonna take the names let me go ahead and put the camera down so you can see a little bit better. Okay, so I lay my names down like this and just roll them, not too tight, but just like this. And then I'll take my packing slip and just, I'm not going to show because it has the address and stuff on it, but I'll put that on the outside and kind of roll it around it. And then I'll put these two and include it inside of the roll. And then I just slide it inside of my bag like so. And then it'll look like this. So I turn my cello bag around. And then just close that up and let the air out. And then it looks like this. And then to finish it off, I always add my little thank you sticker on it. And I'll put that right up at the top. So you know, that is literally how it looks. And then once this is done 
I will put it inside of my box. And I also, I obviously have a lot of extra room in here, but the reason I get this size is because for some reason it was cheaper than a lot of the different sizes. And for two, sometimes my decals are even larger. So I'm able to fit really big decals in here. Or if somebody orders a lot of them, I have a lot of extra room in here. So that is literally all I do. And then once that's done, I will just close up my box tape it up and then put my label on the outside of it. And that's all there is to it. Okay, here are all of the orders all packaged up and ready to go out to the post office in the morning. All right, guys, that is how I package up my large vinyl decals. I always put them in boxes like that. I feel like it's the most safe and effective way, and I have had great results with that, and so hopefully you guys can get some good use out of it too. Um, also, a couple things I wanted to mention before you go. I know I always put it in the description down below, but I have a Facebook group called Simply Sally DIY where it's kind of a group where we all come together and I share tips and tricks on different things and um, I'm always there to help if you have questions. So go ahead and join that. And also my Instagram is Simply Sally DIY as well. So if you want to join that, I'm not as active on there or I wasn't as active on there, but I'm now starting to be. Um, so go ahead and join both of those. I'll be so happy to have you. And also let me know down in the comments below some other videos that you want me to make soon. I have a whole list of ideas, but I want to know what you guys want to see. So let me know down in the comments what you want to see from me next. And I will definitely be doing lots and lots and lots of videos soon. I have a plan that I definitely want to post at least two videos a week. Uh, I'm not exactly sure on the days yet, but I'm planning maybe Mondays and Thursdays. That is at least the plan right now. And we will see how it goes. And I will let y'all know once I firm down a schedule. But just know that you're definitely going to be seeing more from me. And because I have a lot of ideas that I want to share with y'all. Thank you so much for watching. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.